Welcome to Waypoint of View. We're Jess and Miles, and we're on a worldwide journey to broaden our perspectives by putting ourselves somewhere new on the map. After an amazing week of safari, we made our way to Mafia Island, which is a small laid-back island with a very local feel. Whale sharks are one of the biggest jaws of the island, and we were honestly most excited about the chance to swim with them. But after two failed attempts, we have made our way to the other side of the island, which offers some of the best diving in the Indian Ocean. Good morning from Mafia Island. We are here at the Big Blue Dive Resort located right in the heart of the Mafia Island Marine Park. This is a world-class diving destination in the Indian Ocean. There are over 20 dive sites located right here in Chole Bay, and we did two dives yesterday just 15 minutes from our place. And we are really excited for today because not only are we doing another double dive, but we are headed out to the Mangay Sandbank. The diving here is heavily influenced by the tides and from what we understand we're on a low tide cycle right now and our dive master said that the visibility is a little less than if we were on a high tide cycle but the fish are a lot more active and there are over 400 species of fish here. We already saw so much yesterday and we're really excited to see what we can find today. And we're off. It was very windy, so our attempts to talk to the camera looked a little like this. But despite the wind, we enjoyed some incredible diving. Just like our dive master said, the fish were very active. We saw what had to be thousands of beautiful fish, a couple of sea turtles, and so much colorful coral. After a short break on the boat, it was time for our second dive, which was even better than the first. There were fish everywhere we looked, and we even found a few stingrays hiding in the sand. After our dives, we made our way to the Mangay Sandbank, a small isolated temporary island only accessible during low tide. The crew made a delicious barbecue lunch right on the sand, but we couldn't stay long because the sandbank was disappearing quickly in the waves as the tide came in.
What a great day of diving, and as I'm sure you can probably tell, we're definitely not experts, quite the opposite actually, but I'm so glad we picked up this skill before we started traveling because it's opened up an entirely new world to us, and Mafia Island is the perfect example of that. I'm so glad that this is how we're rounding out our time here in Tanzania.